What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to look at a small gigapan that was put together by Neil Spence. Did a great job of this. And this is of the moon. We're going to check that out. But let me just drop this on you real quick. I had a handful of people have asked me about this Mr. Daniel channel. Um, stay away from it like it's the plague. Absolutely disinformation. Not true. Not real Martian photos. Ask him for a link. He'll never give you one. So this morning I got on there and this is what I did. And you can see my, my comment here. And this wasn't three minutes ago. This is earlier. I said, fake. If I'm in the wrong, please drop the official NASA link so that we can all check it out. Other than that, this is a fake channel. Well, surprise, surprise. Where did it go? Now, keep in mind, it was right above this Jose Duvan, or du Duvan, depending how you want to pronounce it. You can see it there. It's gone. Nowhere to be found. You can go to the video right now, and it's nowhere in the comment section. And you can see that Jose again right there, okay? Completely gone. It's not there. Surprise, surprise. Don't waste your time. I mean, folks, I even seen this. He had like a bottle laying in the dirt. Just listen. Common sense would tell you NASA, nor ESA, or any other of these space agencies are going to allow you to see the stuff in the photos. Just common sense. So, yeah, avoid the channel. Even if it says, oh, it's cool for entertainment. I wouldn't watch it because it's completely fake. I want to see the real deal. And the stuff he shows, if it was real, do you think there'd be any need for any of us who are doing this kind of work to have to enhance anything? Think about that a minute. Yeah, just avoid the channel. It's a bunch of BS. He's making money off of people that believe he's telling the truth, and clearly this is not the case. So just a little heads up on that. Now, with that being said, let's get off of that. Here's the Gigapan I was telling you about. You can see Neil Spence. So thank you, Neil Spence, for doing the work. We do appreciate you. And this is uploaded on the 28th of December last year in 2020. And you can see right here, it's just uh, one megapixel off from 500 megapixels. And you can see it was done with 300 DPI. So pretty much the best you can get, right? Uh, for a photo that's pretty much garbage and stitched together by NASA anyway, right? And of course, this is the LROC, which is the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter Camera. Now, let's jump right into this because I think you're going to find this interesting. All right, I'm going to give you the link and it's going to go right to this particular area so you can have a look. Folks, look at the dark areas here and there, like right here. Look inside. You can see this half round circle. I'm going to set this right in the middle of the screen. Look at this right here. Okay. But look into the blackness as well, okay? Example, I'm going to put this whole area right here with this lighter crater, if you will. But look at the four dots here, okay? Let me see if I can't zoom into this a little bit more. One, two, three, four dots. I'll put it in the middle of the screen. And just south or just lower of that, you can see these one, two, another one right here. And you can see what looks like little structures in between. Now... If you were to bounce over to here, you could see what looks like this rectangular piece, and it's really tough to see, but right here, smack dab in the middle of the screen. I know my curse is small, so I'm going to try to make it uh, kind of go around it real slow so you guys can see what I'm showing here. And there's many more things in here to see, folks, like this right here. Perfect example. This item has almost like a peak to it, like a top of a triangle. Of course, it's facing us instead, but look at the little dots in front of it on the right. One, two, three. One, two, three. And you have what looks like an arch of these dots, whatever they may be. What are the chances? Just that alone tells me this is intelligently made. Now, you also have to pay attention to the areas again in the dark, right? Look at all these little dots right here, just the little whiter dots. I'll put it right in the middle of the screen. There's something right here. Again, middle of the screen, smack dab, and then all these little tiny uh, just dots laying around, okay? You've got things like this. Looks like a 90 degree angle, and the rest of it is completely black or darkened out. Hmm, imagine that. So what we're going to do, folks, we're going to enhance this. We're going to make it slightly clearer. You can only do so much to it, and then all of a sudden it'll start to fall apart, right? Um, again, this area here, just look at the way this thing goes. Look at the, look at the way these these things go off, like right here, in the, I'll put it in the middle, right there going like this and going off to the right. Second one next to it also does the same. These whited areas, almost like a half an arch type thing. Just, folks, wait till you see this, this is cool. Again, you'll get this right, you can see this right here, how, how big that really is. You won't have to worry about it. You can see the coordinates at the very top when I start to zoom into this, they change. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the exact spot that we're pretty much in so you can have a better look at it right here. Okay, let's jump into Photoshop. All right, here it is right here, and I'm going to go ahead and zoom into this. Like I said, these areas alone, okay, this was pretty cool. One larger one, or it looks like two of them. You got a, one here, or another white one here. These four right here. And look at the little pieces in between, folks. And I'm going to zoom into this even more so because I want you to see this. This area alone, do you notice the areas like this here? It has what looks like a lighter area doing this here. Going up and going like this here. Okay. Again, I'm going to show you the other area here now that we can really zoom into this because we're not online. Right here. Very, very faint. Again, make a photo look like it's clouded over. It's got a haze. Take out a lot of the shadows if you can. Cover it up with a lot of these black areas. And guess what happens? You're none the wiser. You don't see this stuff. Now, let me do this for you. I'm just going to go into Full Enhance. Now, let's check this out, folks. We'll go to the top one like I showed you earlier. Here's this piece right here or pieces, structures, and all this other good stuff. Again, one, two, three, four. You get the structure that does this here. And you can see very faintly one, two, and then three. One, two, and then three. I'll show you the original right there. And of course, again, this arch-shaped area with these anomalies in them. What are they? Not sure, folks. Here's the gray scale right there. Make it a little bit darker. Here's this area I was showing you earlier with this area here. Let me show you that in color and fully enhanced this area here. Check this out. Something very large sitting here. You can see it right there doing this. And of course, there's a shadow right underneath it. Uh, just just the actual like, what looks like landscaping folks look at this what are we seeing here and again this is very faint but it is in fact there you can see it right there coming down doing this coming back up kind of gets in a dock area here but continues on see it And then the rest of them is like bits and pieces, okay? So what we tried to do is bring out as much of this as we can. Again, this arched area here. You can see that. We have what looks like two 90 degree angle areas right here. Right there, this one kind of goes in between all this other stuff here, but you can still see it. And we get this one in the back here. Okay, I can see it right here. And this one right here. Is it there? Absolutely. Absolutely. And again, I try to bring out a lot of these areas that were really darkened. Like, here's a perfect example. See how it's like just hazed over? And like I said, they were caught a long time ago putting acetate over these photos. And then they can do whatever they want to these actual uh, photos and hide a lot of these things. Let's see what's uh, here in the background. Around here. Hmm. Look at this. Well, it look like structures. This thing's cool. It actually looks like it's... See that one right there? It looks like it's got some other straight piece instead of one curving doing this and one going like this. But whatever that is, folks, look at these. Very, very well hidden. Structures galore in this photo. Now, what I do is I brightened up a lot of these darker areas. See it right there? You can see these actual squares and these structures and all these other things here. You can see it. It's there. This one right here, this square. Just to give you a couple examples. It's right there. Enhance it to bring them out. And this is what you find. Okay? Now, not all of it's clear, like, like this one here. You can't make out what that is. But it's there. 
try to make it as clear as you can, well, within reason, because obviously they don't want you to see this to begin with, these pieces right here, right there. And you can see this just barely. In fact, you can't even barely see the bottom until you actually enhance that. Not sure what to make of that, what that is. Check this out down here on the left. Let's glide it over there and have a better look. Notice these pieces here. If I do this, look how hazed out they are. You can barely see at all what this might be. Bring it down. We've got this larger piece here. It looks like two brighter pieces on the corners. See that? You can see this area right here. It's square and you've got the two brighter areas. Check that out. Let me move the lines. They're just barely, but they're just slightly brighter. Well, there you go. I make them brighter, bring them out, pop them, so we can see what we're really looking at here. Now, again, is this stuff completely clear? Heck no. We have some kind of weird, I don't know if these are multiple structures around this. It looks like a Doppler radar ball type thing, right? See it? Is that what it is? No idea. No clue. But you, again, you got a brighter piece here. You got one here. These could be multiple structures, but because there's not a whole lot of clarity, that's what you see. It almost looks like one piece. But is it? I don't believe that it is. Right there. Okay. There is a lot to see in this photo. You also got to look inside these dark areas. A lot of times you see like shapes, but they did a great job of trying to hide them so you really cannot see them. Right here. Is that even there? It absolutely is right there. And I'll remove this line in a second so you guys can have a closer look. But again, put these dark areas, just take an area go like this and make it dark. You just went over X amount of pieces, right? I'll show you again, right there. Try to put a smack dab in the middle of the screen so you can have a closer look. So is it actually there? That shape is there. I'll go back and forth. Just pop it out, folks. That's all you're doing. We're not putting it there. We're just enhancing. Anything that's a little slightly white, go over with the dodge tool. It makes it brighter. That's all we're doing. So the object is, in fact, still there. We're just making it more noticeable and just pop it a little bit, right? You can see that here. Give you a different perspective and color. Not as clear, of course. Not fully enhanced either. Folks, look at the stuff in between here. Check this out. Even blurry, I can see things down here. Little structures, little look like dome-like things. Here, look at this. Right here, one, two, three dots in a row. We have these other, you can see this line right here. Got that there. There they are, folks. One, two, and three. This line here kind of breaks apart right in the middle here. But there it is. Like I said, bring the stuff out, shopping it up a little bit so we can see what we're looking at. Folks, again, hundreds of structures laying right there in front of us. We just have to pull this stuff out. Pause it right here, folks. Have a better look. And there you are. Folks, I said this before and I'll say it again. The moon is absolutely littered with structures. The question is, how big are these structures? Are they smaller? About the same size we build here on Earth? Or much, much larger? We heard people like Richard Hoagland say there's large glass-like structures on the moon. But would these beings be at the same size of us and there's just multi lore structures? I don't know. But the fact is, these things are in fact in the photo. To me, the moon is littered with this. Were they mining the moon? Were they just flat out just living on the moon? Was this moon somewhere else before it became our Earth satellite? Could have been somewhere else 65 million years ago when this actual solar system was somewhere else in the universe. There's a lot of angles to look at this. Folks, as always, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. I'm curious to see what you've got to say about that. Please like and share it is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Folks, got two more videos coming up before the holiday. So stay tuned for that. We're going to try to get those out for you. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace, folks.